Hey my friends, what's going on? Cater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. Let's get it. So guys, in this video today, guys, um, a couple of you been asking me, yo, Cater, I've watched your videos, seen the one on how to create the store, seen the one on what product to put on the store. Now, my next question is, what the heck do I put on my store? What the heck, you know? I said that last week, I showed you what you can put on your store, products, and then now, the next question is, how the heck do I drive traffic now? How do I get people to go to my store to start buying stuff? What are the ways? So I wanna share with you three secrets on how you can drive traffic to your store in this video. Let's get it, let's go! Alright guys, so in this video guys, let's talk about how you can drive traffic to your store. What are my recommendations? Now, I'll give you three recommendations, three secrets in this video. Well, it's no secret, a lot of people would know, but it might be a secret to you. Like, my number one recommendation is Facebook. Everybody knows it. Facebook is powerful. That's where everyone is hanging. Now, that was a question that was asked to me, you'll cater. Um, you know, I usually recommend anybody who's getting started with e-commerce to have at least $500 to $1,000. And someone say, yo, dude, oh, that's crazy. That's too expensive. I don't have that type of money or most people don't have that type of money to invest into their business. Here's the reason I say so. Someone put in the comment one of my last video. I'll put the link to the last video. You can check it out. Also, guys, I want you to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't liked this video, comment, share, let me know what you think. Um, one of the comment, one person said, yo, dude, why are you telling people to have $500 to spend into traffic? Um, I've only spent $200 and I made $700 for the month with e-commerce. Now, here's the thing you must understand. Is it the case for everybody that's doing it? No. More likely it's not the case. More likely if you're going to test, you're going to lose money in the beginning. A lot of people don't want to hear that. But you have to test in order for you to know what's working. right? Once you set up a store and you put a couple of products on it, doesn't mean that everything is going to convert or everything that you put on there is going to convert or every product is going to convert. So the goal is always, okay, let's say for example, you spent $200 on traffic and you made $700. That's in one month. That's a long period of time to make money. And if it's not even all profit, so what about scaling? Let's say you find a product right now, you start testing Facebook ads and you spend $100 um, in a week and you make $500. How about scaling? How are you gonna scale it? You need to have some type of fun, some type of capital. That's why, that's where I'm coming from. Now, I understand I come for the little guy. You know, a lot of people getting started, they have no money, they have no ways to, to, to pay for traffic and stuff like that because you kind of get started broke. But you need to have a business mentality. You need to understand scaling your business. You don't want to stay at the same stage. Like a lot of people want to get this stuff for free. How many people you know on Facebook? Like me, when I first got started with my online business, I only had 150 people that I knew, friends on my Facebook. Now I grew to 5,000 and I have over 17,000 followers, but that happened throughout the years. Most people, they haven't been marketing, so more likely they don't have that much following. And even if you have that much following, maybe the product you're gonna show them how are you gonna scale? Because I'm capped at 17,000. So if you don't have capital money to invest into traffic, you're gonna be capped, okay? So here's the deal, Facebook. Facebook is powerful. Number one way for you to drive traffic, set some money on the side, and then start testing products. Now, test is powerful, find what people are buying and scale them up. Now, when you're doing Facebook, people always say, yo, dude, what about people can just go on Amazon and find the same product or find, why, why wouldn't people buy it on eBay, on Amazon? It's not that people are dumb or they don't know, it's convenience. See, when you get someone to buy something right off Facebook, they see it, they love it, it's convenience. That's why I personally focus on products that are different products that are unique. When people see it, it's like, oh, I've never seen this before. Those products does really, really well because they don't see them or maybe you target the person, it's a love, like the, the buying is emotional. 
It's like convenience. You're selling conveniency. You know, the way you set it, the way the package you have for it's convenient to the person. You, do you have a store, like a, a convenience store around your neighborhood? How many times you know that you can go to Walmart and get a milk at less money, but yet you're driving back home and you don't feel like going to Walmart. You find it right there. Boom, you get it. It's convenience. So you can sell from that point, okay? The number two secret that I want to share with you. So number one is Facebook. Number two, <laughs> Instagram, come on, it's powerful. What I do now, Facebook, when you're advertising, they give you the option to also um, promote on Instagram, but I create different campaigns because you want to separate your campaign so that you understand your pixel in your back office. So you understand that Facebook and Instagram, they are two major powerful engines, specifically if you're doing picture ads and if you're doing video ads, Facebook is great, but Think about it now, Instagram has the feature where the people can actually just directly go to the website from there, just like it would be Facebook. So it's so powerful if you're not taking advantage of those two places, you definitely need to start testing, set some money aside. How do I test? Personally, $25 on a product, boom, a day, instead of waiting. Here's the thing, in the beginning, the process that I teach people is that, you know, let your pixel marinate, I make another video about Pixel, of you understanding Pixel and why by giving data to Facebook in the long term is gonna be much more powerful for you because it's like a computer, you know? It's like a computer that's reading what's going to happen on your website. So once the Pixel get the information, they know exactly what are your buyers, how they can send your people to, to increase your buying behavior. Um, the people that has increased buying behavior, how do you find more of those people and send them to your website? So that's gonna be so much more powerful as you grow. But if you're just getting started, I highly recommend do $5 a day and then keep watching it for five days and then keep building that pixel. But once you have that pixel going for a couple of weeks, or a couple of months, you're good to go, man. Just do 25 bucks a day, test them really, really fast. Test product. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> and then you find your winners and then you scale those. Now there's some strategies, of course, on how you could do this stuff to a whole next level, but it's not really that much of a big deal as so many people make it seem like, yo, know, Facebook ads, you know, it's like the craziest thing to understand, guys. The, the biggest thing is really finding winners and scale those, you know, let Facebook give you more and create some lookalike audience of your buyers. And then boom, I mean, People want people to go into the craziness, showing you all the crazy stuff that's not even that crazy important. It's basic understanding. You find what people are buying, find more people for it, look like those people to find even more people, and then keep pushing that stuff until it converts and it blows, and you can create millions of dollars using the strategy. That's all it is. As far as Instagram, another way you can go for Instagram for testing. Now, if you have your Pixel installed on your store, you can still use the test data even if you're not doing it um, the other way. A lot of people talk about Instagram influencers. So you can go to Webstagram and you put any niche that you're part of, whether it is you know, fitness niche, whether it is you know, um, makeup, whatever that you are trying to sell into. And then it's gonna bring up a bunch of people that has huge Instagram following, you know? The reason they call those people influencers is because they have a following. Now it's all about following. Guys, let me give you some data. If you don't understand that things are changing, it's one of the main reasons why you wanna learn this information. You must understand that things are changing. Let me give you some data from, <laughs> it's crazy when I was reading this. If you're not learning to take this stuff to the next level, <laughs> it's crazy. 150 game stuffs stores are closing right now. What do you think people are buying this stuff? Online. 250 Abercrombie stores are closing right now. What do you think people are buying clothes? On the internet. It's you and the perfect opportunity for you to learn this stuff and grow yourself. 190, I love Jesse Penny's. <laughs> My wife loves them too. 190 Jesse Penny stores are closing right now. 190. Because what happened now, their customer is not coming to the store anymore. You know, the new generation, they're not going to the mall. They just pull up the phone, boop, 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 order it, come to the house. That's it. By the time my kids grow, probably they won't even go to the, to the mall. They probably go to the mall for movies and other things. They probably won't go to the mall to buy certain things like clothes and all that stuff. And now there's this whole movie that's coming where you put your, your headset on. People probably will go to the movie just for the experience. You know, now they have the visual type of movie you just put in your face 
And then boom, you're watching the whole thing like you was at the movie. Now you don't really have to. It's convenience. Why do you think people would buy that versus going to the movies? They have these big glasses, they put it in their eyes, and then boom, they can see a big screen TV and watch the movie live. Why do you think people would buy that? They buy in convenience. They can go to the movie, but if they can have these glasses from home and just sit back, relax, and watch any movie that comes out, do you think the new generation will want to go to the movie theater? Hell no. They're just going to sit down and watch the stuff. Convenience. That's what you're selling when you are doing drop shipping and other business model and what's convenient to your customer. That's what you need to start thinking of. 66 Macy's stores is closed. You know, matter of fact, I made a video. I might link to the video somewhere, but I made a video where I show I was walking into an actual closing store. Everything had to go. I think it was a, either a Macy's or a Sears. I've known this store for years, for years, and now it's closing down. You know, 108 Kmart stores are closing. Guys, those are facts. What do you think about this stuff? If, you, if you're too scared to spend money, if you're not learning to grow yourself, if you're not learning to invest into your business, guys, it's powerful. But anyway, last tip, I said go to um, Webstagram, get some of the influencers, and then go to the website, see if they provide services where you can sell stuff, where you, they can give you shout out for your products on your website, or you can just reach out to them, DM them, and then see how much they charge, and then test that. You can spend 50 to $100 just to test based on the following that they have and how many times they actually use it. Test from that, and then your pixel's still gonna be working. You're still gonna get data from the people that's on their page that's going to your website. See, remember, when your picture is going to be created, it's going to be based, the information is going to be based from the movement, what, what action people have actually done on your website. So you can have all that as data and then look like it into Facebook and, and anything else. But guys, it's not that complicated. Don't keep killing yourself. What you need to do to drive traffic now after you choose your product, you get your stuff going. You need to go into your Facebook ads and start running Facebook ads. Get yourself $500, it's a business. If you need to scale, if you have a winning product, if you don't have any money to scale, it's gonna be really hard for you. Or you have to wait for the customer to pay and get the money the next day and then try to scale. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that if you're starting out broke, but I'm saying have a business owner mentality. If you need to grow, if you need to expand, if you need to scale, that mentality is not gonna get you anywhere but anyway guys oh a bonus one let me give you a bonus i love giving bonus a bonus where you can drive traffic for those of you who's just like hey i don't want I just want free traffic i don't want to pay for it um your shop more likely come with a blogging platform now does people read blog nowadays anymore <laughs> to tell you the truth it's almost dead you know almost dead you have some people who really will go out there and do the search but People are not looking into reading. They rather watch videos. If they need, uh, what you could do is place the video. If you have a demonstration of your product, place a video inside of the blog. You can go in there. The blog is very similar to WordPress, so you can write some content about the product. Put a video inside of there so you can keep the attention and then give them a call to action. Tell them to buy it. Click. They go to your shop and then boom, there you go. You can actually buy now. As people will come into the search engine, you can tag some keywords for your specific niche or for your specific product. You can drive some traffic that way, but this is gonna be a long term. I mean, do you have, I mean, I mean, some people have years to make money, but it's gonna take a while before things are built. And specifically, if you find products that People, a lot of people. For selling example, online. guys, I'm gonna show you in a case where SEO works, okay? This is a company called ClickFunnels. A lot of people use it, whether you're doing e-commerce, affiliate marketing, whatever you're doing, right? So I made a video for them. So I ranked the video using a search engine, which is SEO, just like I told you. And then I ranked the video on the first page of YouTube. And for the last year, uh, last seven months, I think I made a little bit over ten thousand dollars with them. So this is another check they just sent me in the mail. Just black my address. You see, it. the company is founded by Russell Brunson. You see his signature over here, and I made. If this can focus, like a thousand two hundred dollars. They send me checks like that all the time, in the mail. But what I do is that I rank for it. But the thing is, I mean, although I make ten k with the company, but I can't scale it up because. 
I'm just waiting for the traffic. That's where paid advertising come in. If you're just waiting for the traffic, which is cool, you know, an extra 10K on the side is cool, but you're waiting for the traffic. You need to be able to scale your business and that's why you're gonna need to have funding, okay? But anyway, guys, let me know if this video was valuable to you. Just wanted to give you some good resources, some stuff you can use. Take yourself to the next level. That was Cater. Like this video, comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, check out my previous video somewhere on the screen. That was Cater. Appreciate you. Pound that. I'll see you guys later. Pow. So, pound out for watching this video. Pow! Pow!